Morning traders, and uh, this is your Dow Jones day trade setup for today. So we are again flirting with uh, this area here. What I want to do is just sort of put that level in there. There's my inside tail, there's my other inside tail. And the next level that I'm really interested in is that all-time high there. Okay, so that's our weekly view. We've had a pretty strong gap up. Last week we ended up with a... Mm, not really going to give it a... It's not really price action. That fooled me with confidence. And buyers were still in control there. But uh, it was a red bar. But nevertheless, it doesn't really fool me with much confidence. So the fact that we are sort of flirting with the top, the high of that, um, of the week, does give you a little bit of indication that it's pro probably going to move to the upside. And I would expect us to come and challenge this all-time high, um, as I was saying most of last week, and then we'll have to wait and see what happens there. But politicians are at play today, or well, the whole of the weekend, so I'm almost... Um, Almost 100% sure that if we do break above the previous high here, okay, you can see that's pretty close to the all time high. If we do break above that, that's going to give us a second move, and the second move is pretty much going to be something along the lines of. as a start, which will be uh, 27472. Okay, so, but everything hinges with this all-time high. I think we are going to get a little bit of selling off there. But, um, yeah, the way things are looking, uh, long it is, as I've said most of last week. Yeah, so um, this coming on three hours, last, most last week was just pretty much sideways and... Uh, Nothing really to trade, it was so volatile up and down. But what I see now is we do have a fairly strong uh, gap up. Now, I'd expect us to consolidate or at least start moving to the downside somewhat so that we can get some opportunities to buy. But uh, it could also just rally. We're already up a percent. And for it to move another... Hundred and sixty odd points, that's half a percent, so that's also very possible. Okay. So anyway, that's um for me it's long. Uh, really looking for consolidation and a move up. Looking at the half hour, this is not the picture I want to see when I want to go up long. So I'm gonna wait for Europe, wait uh, to see what happens later on through the day. It may just rally. It's a very good possibility that we're going to move to the upside. And, I mean, some people would be looking and quite willing to do a 350 point stop loss and just let this put a trade in and just leave it. Okay. I want to see, wait for Europe and just see what happens there. Hopefully, we get some kind of a consolidation somewhere along the line that we can get in. And the easy way to do this is to look at your. 12, 15 minute um, charts and trade off those. You can even possibly go down to a five. Uh, for me, it'll be a six minute. But And you can see you've got some fairly interesting levels to get through to the upside. But then you do have some pretty well defined stop areas. So one, two, three stop areas here. Okay. So, so yeah, so for me... Um, it is a long. I'm looking for a long. A little bit of a cautious long because of the area that we're in. But um, part of me is just saying we're not going to get a pullback. Yeah, so if you look, do this, come to your three hour. And you can see, I mean, I've got this level drawn in here, but... That's the area there that we've gapped above and come down to test. 
and there is another area in here uh, not really okay so that's the area that I find I think we should get support okay so between 26.788 and 26.752 that's the area that I would expect some support and for a stop that's a 100 point stop loss which I think is kind of acceptable at the moment and I do want to get in long on this at the moment but um, yeah this time of the morning is not probably not the cleverest thing to do uh, rather wait for or wait for Europe or wait for the US open just find just look for that first pullback you're waiting for that first pullback it may only be a couple of points it may be on a, a five minute chart but you're looking for that pullback in order to get into this market point is getting in now because um, it may just roll over come and build a base lower down and then climb again okay so that's what I'm looking for but as last week, that's long it is, and I suspect we can have a fairly strong week this week uh, with the politicians starting to sort their nonsense out. Anyway, guys, um, that's my view at the moment. Looking for the longs, and uh, just be patient. Wait for that pullback. Don't get tempted at this stage. Okay. Anyway, hope that helps, and I'll catch you later. Cheers for now.